Good morning, everybody. All right, I'm wide awake, well showered, rested, not even sore, feeling good. They've been kind to me. I want to be kind back to them. Pass on the kindness, pay it forward. Send them some love and a little thank you to the room attendant there. Your outflow determines your inflow. What you give is what you get. What you reap is what you sow. Good karma. You guys have been good to me with PayPal. Jade's been good to me here in the office. I want to be good to the cleaning people. Thank you for such a lovely room. She's completely made my day, or two days. And look at this beautiful view here in music. Live music. Woo! Good tune too. Get by with a little help from my friend. I get by with a little help from my friends. <laughs> wow, look at this. I was trying to get down there. Is that a thing? I was trying to get down Bluff Trail. Okay. That sounds promising. Can I get from the bluff to the beach? Doesn't look like it. I'm kind of stuck up here. Ah, well that solves the mystery. I can't get down from this side, which makes me feel a little better because I was kicking myself for not having enough time this morning to go and run and jump in the ocean before I had to check out but I couldn't get down there anyway yeah so I'm actually quite pleased about that I don't have to feel bad I feel like it's invigorating in the morning to wake up run down to the ocean and jump in but I was just so busy with office Wi-Fi tasks I had to complete. In the end I just opted for a quick cold shower. But I've been on the ocean now for well over a week. I haven't jumped in once. All I've done is dip my hand in it and be like I made it. But I need the right situation where I'm probably hot and sweaty and it's sunny. I don't really want to get in there and get really cold and wet if it's kind of cold and grim temperature outdoors oh yeah Jade if you're watching this this just reminded me because I'm being loud <laughs> this sign here quiet please Jade message to Jade on your welcome pack it says if you use the ice machine Please be quiet. <laughs> You've misspelt quiet. It says if you use the ice machine, please be quiet. I'm just intrigued to know where this goes. I mean, I'm going south. As long as I keep the ocean on my right, I'm always going the right way. Didn't last long. Wow, wow, wow. Disappointing. Hey, it's the pelicans, yeah, go buddy. Pelican friend, I'm a pelican friend, I'm a pelican friend, I'm a pelican. Woohoo! I haven't seen any pelicans since Florida. I did wonder, do they have pelicans in California? I wasn't really sure, like is it just a Florida thing? Because Sebastian, my hometown, they call it Pelican Island or Pelican something, it has pelicans all over the place. All the sports teams are pelicans. The children's school is called Pelican Elementary or whatever, like it's all pelican based. <laughs> I'm not vegan, I'm pelican based. <laughs> that honking was Jade. Honk honk. Okay, we've got a road sign check. Checkpoint. Stewart's Point, which is spelt the same way like my dad. Bodega Bay, that's roughly where we're gonna have the pit stop couch surfing. Today I've gotta get 24 miles if I wanna get to the next shop. It's 24 miles away. That's basically five miles an hour. 
until the shop closes. So I can't be messing around too much or I'll run out of food. I've got tons of snack bars thanks to Jade. So I'm not really carrying too much supplies, the usual. Alright, so this is great. I found this little path. It's just a kind of farm vehicle track. I'm really enjoying these unexpected trails that run parallel. Keeps me guessing because I looked at the map and there's nothing. There's no parallel roads, there's no official trails, there's no nothing. But you don't know what you get till you get there. Beautiful, right? I got the ocean there, the road there, and a little bit of off roading right here. Ticking every box. <laughs> Now there's tennis courts. <laughs> this trail is just wild. Well, not wild, but it's going in between houses and seems to be taking me south, but it's taking me in all kinds of funny directions. Oh, great. Now we're going the wrong way. I'm concerned about the time I might be wasting and the distance. I'm doing more than 24 miles now and it's currently taking me towards the coast. Now, I don't know where this goes. I'm kind of enjoying the surprise. I just don't want to risk not getting to the shops on time and not having food to eat tonight. But that's a different problem that can be solved later. Right now, it's keeping me off the road and it's super fun. Look at these trees. Look at them. <laughs> How cool is this? Woohoo! This has to be one of the coolest trails ever. It's taking me down to the beach now. Horses and walkers, no bikes, no cars. End of the trail, back onto the road. Wah, wah, wah. I was hoping that was gonna last all day, or maybe all the way to Hollywood. Oh no, you know what? I can go up there. 
going up. Yeah, this will do nicely. Keeping me off the road. Keeping me entertained with beautiful scenery. And keeping me away from the cars so I can enjoy the scenery for longer. <laughs> Never give up hope. Never give up hope. It's open. What's your name? You're in the vlog. My name's Matt. Matt. We've just been chatting with Matt. I'm so happy these guys are still open. Now I got food and I don't have to pay. I was going to have to pay like restaurant price, you know? So yeah, look at all this. Oh, Matt's the man right there. Boom, boom, boom. Matt has made my day for being open. Kind of iron up these bagels, you know. All right, it's bagels for dinner. <laughs> it's kind of uh, unusual for me to be eating bread meals, bagel meals, whatever. But I don't really have a lot of choice. It's uh, otherwise it's just everything that he's cooking. There was some rice and pasta and, you know, but everything involves boiling water. Up there, ladies and gentlemen, monkeys. My name's Seb. This is the cam. Boom. This is Seb Cam in the morning, waking up. Zip, zip, yoink. The dude in the shop last night, Matthew. You're in the vlog. My name's Matt. Matt. We've just been chatting with Matt. He said I could stay across the road in the campsite. This is very nice of him. The main benefit being this bench. I was able to sit at the bench and eat my bagels and hang out in this tree. So that worked out well, although now I'm in the shade. I picked the one shady bit. It was pretty cold last night, and this morning I just kind of stayed in bed thinking I'm going to wait here, wait for it to warm up, wait for the sun. And the sun is over there. <laughs> it's all, I'm in the shady patch. It won't get sunny here until, like, after lunch. My goal is to get to Bodega Bay. Bodacious, dude. Cowabunga. Roughly halfway to Bodega is a place called Jenner. Jenner has a shop, so that will be like a little pit stop, lunch, whatever. Lunch, breakfast, brunch. And then once I get to Bodega, then I'm getting pretty close to Santa Rosa and 
couch surfing friends. So hopefully just a few more nights of cold hammock <sighs> and then I'll have a house. I reckon we can make it all the way there. All right, let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> I knew it would be cold last night and that my water bottle would be cold. And then in the morning, I would get cold teeth and a cold inner core. So I filled my Catadyne Bee Free bottles and they're lovely and warm. I can feel the warmth. They're just like body temperature. They've been in my pocket all night. Yummy, warm water for breakfast. But it does make a big difference. Instead of putting a load of ice cold water in my belly and bringing my temperature down, it's rehydrating me. Mm-mm-mm. Also, it's not really freezing out here, but in some situations, like in the Colorado mountains and any time where the temperature might drop below freezing, this inner filter can freeze, especially if you leave it outside, just hanging on the outside of your hammock or outside of your tent or even just in your tent. Unless it's in your sleeping bag or in your pocket with you, you're running the risk of breaking your filter because it will just crack and expand and freeze. So it's good practice really to always keep your bottles in your pockets. Had a few bikers go by. I'm on this crazy uphill. Didn't expect this. You usually think the coast will be flat. Running along in the sand. And I'm way up here. Woohoo! This is the downhill fun bit. Had to climb the mountain. Now I get to run down. Yee Coast and mountains. Best of both worlds. Okay. So I'm running up this road works and the guy's like, can you stop at the red light? I'm like, it's fine. I'll just get through to the other side. I'll stay out the way, I'll stay on the side of the road. I don't want to stop. So now a guy just drove up and he's real mad. Hey, I'm gonna call the highway patrol. You're going to jail. I'm like, I don't want to cause any trouble. I'm just trying to do my run, get through. I figure I'm almost at the end of the road. We're gonna go speak to the guy. We'll go stealth mode. What country are you from? I'm from London. I don't give a shit. You're in the United States. I've been running across America. I, don't care. I know. I, I understand. Twenty-five thousand dollars fine to be in the side of the road. Oh right, I didn't know that. No shit. When that 
Just flag or stop you. You fucking stop. I didn't realize. Get to the other end of my closure, and there's a policeman waiting for you. Okay. Have a good day. So can I keep, uh, you want me to keep going? Get out of my closure. Okay. There'll be a cop waiting for you. All right. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, you didn't upset me. Yeah, so he's not happy. And apparently he's called the cops. But I'm almost at the other end. That's what I thought. It would just be like, just get through the other side. Okay, so I got through. Now I'm wondering, shall I duck off up here? Duck out the way? But if these cops are coming, they're gonna find me somewhere along this road. If not today, it'll be another day. I really didn't know it's a big deal. <sighs> to be fair, it didn't take me long to get through. I didn't exactly cause any huge problems. I think the guy was just an angry guy. I made it to the store and I'm gonna eat this entire box of Cheerios. It's 10 more miles to Bodega Bay. So I think I have a little break, eat some Cheerios. How much does this weigh? 500 grams of Cheerios with water. And uh, no one stopped me or told me to, you know, oi, you're going to jail. Like, I seem to be fine. If they haven't stopped me yet, you know, flashing blue lights or whatever, I can't imagine they're that bothered. I think that guy was bluffing and angry and who knows. All right, let's have some Cheerios. I'm gonna eat the whole box now. <laughs> Water. Or you don't have milk? No, milk is for babies. No. I'm not a baby, are you a baby? I love milk. I drink a, I drink a milk every day. From a cow's tits? Oh, yeah. The reason I drink milk is because it helps me sleep. I mean, there's so many milks. Almond milk, rice milk, hazelnut milk, oat milk, rice yeah. milk, yeah. soy milk. Why are you squeezing on cow's tits? My name's Seb. This, Seb. Is, this is the cam. Not only a sleeping bag, there's also a sleeping bag that goes for winter. Some lady just gave me 20 bucks. Thank you, lady. <laughs> she said she saw me running down the road, didn't she? Yeah. Surprised I got this far already. Mostly was downhill though, to be fair. And there's more <laughs> from my new friend. He's actually from Barnstable, which is like just down the road. <laughs> A real British. What's your name? Will. Will. Well, thank you, Will. No He's, he was straight away like, I'll give you what I got in my pocket. <laughs> it's just amazing how people help out that's what this journey really is unexpected kindness yeah. and the people we meet along the way so you're amazed I'm gonna eat this whole box <laughs> <laughs> you watch me I'm more... that would last me a week <laughs> <laughs> it always takes me by surprise I always call it like unexpected kindness because I never kind of expect it I don't think I've got it's always a shock like he's still checking his wallet I think it's amazing. These people are amazing. Nope, Just the fact that you even think to do that is, is what takes me by surprise because I didn't even think, I didn't even see it coming, you know? It's, yeah. it's just like, wow. The Cheerios were six, sure it blow away, though. $7, I'll chase it down. $7 for the Cheerios. And that's expensive. That was, yeah, it is a lot. I mean, this shop is killing me, really. Um, I had to buy the water. The bill came to over 10. Oh yeah, I bought like a protein bar. So it's just amazing to think, while I was hesitant to pay over $10 for one meal, 
thinking that's my daily budget. I try and think I'll spend 10 bucks a day on food, you know. Then uh, it's covered. I made money. I made money by sitting here eating Cheerios. Well, you hit a place like this, <laughs> you're going to pay a lot. Yeah. It's a convenience. Well, thank you so much, Will. You made my day. It's been fun chatting to you as well. You too. To me, not just a fellow countryman, but somebody who's so close. Yeah. 50 miles, right? Yeah, yeah. And I was telling you, that was the first adventure I ever did, was from my hometown to Barnstable. We rode bikes all night, and it wasn't like a proper organized, you know, touring bikes. Yeah. One guy borrowed a bike from his next door neighbor. One guy had his sister's bike, and I was the only guy who had a decent, and they all had different problems. One had like a flat tire, one had what we called the razor seat, the painful like, ah, seat. My bike was probably the best of the bunch, and we had to keep swapping bikes between us so we could like put the pain in different places. We were like, wrapping the hoodie around the seat and standing up off the seat like just trying to but we made it we, we rode all night and that was the first time I ever did an adventure like that like a long distance adventure where you're like whoa I rode to the next town you know it's somewhere that we usually take like an hour to drive alright I'm going to keep eating Cheerios I can't chew and talk at the same time <laughs> Well, I don't have to do anything. I actually, I prefer to get oats. They just weren't selling oats. Cheerios are made of oats. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. They are oats. Boom! But if you're ever in Portugal, you're welcome to stay for, well, they, uh, for a week or so. Yeah. All right. I really enjoyed chatting to Will. He's a very cool guy. I have a feeling I'll see him again. He's moving to Portugal. And I've always thought Portugal would be a good place to go. I just enjoyed the conversation because previous to that, I was kind of on edge looking out for the Rosas. Okay. I'm thinking I'm gonna be captured and put in a cage. Flashing blue lights, they're coming to get you, you're going to jail. Like, all of that threatening bluff charge had me a little bit rattled and concerned. And now I got some Cheerios in my belly. And I had a chance to chill out with some cool people, kind, authentic, real. And I kind of realized like ah, it's probably just an empty threat intended to scare me did he even make the call probably not I'm actually thankful that he told me it's a big deal running through roadworks I didn't know that it's not a big deal in England if you can fit through you can get through like all the way across America I've been through tons of roadworks no one's ever reacted like that. I don't give a shit. You're in the United States. I've been running across America. I don't care. I know. I, I understand. It's only a twenty-five thousand dollars fine to be in the side of the road. Oh right, I didn't know that. No shit. When that flagger stops you, you fucking stop. So that was a bit of a surprise. And uh, maybe he did call them, and they were like, "Okay, thanks." Boom. They're not going to come all the way out here with the flashing blue lights to get a guy who's on foot going through a very short traffic, you know, traffic stop roadworks thing. Anyway, it seems like I can relax and Bodega Bay is 10 miles away. I'd rather just do the 10 miles. It's gonna go dark. It's gonna be a little bit cold and uncomfortable, but I don't wanna stay there in Jenna because there's just no food. There's that tiny shop really all I could find to eat was the Cheerios and I've already eaten those. Will upped my love levels. We had a, a loving conversation and I feel back to my usual self in love rather than in fear.
All righty then, we made it. It's dark like I expected, but I've made it to town. I gotta just hope that the shop is open now. It's not as late as it looks, it's like pitch black. It's like 6.30, maybe 7 p.m. Look at that. We've got some amazing burritos and Ethan and Ryan. And they've been riding these bikes here and we've been talking YouTube at this Mexican restaurant. These guys had nachos. In Sonoma County. How many Sonoma. miles have you rode? He's rode from New York right out here. That's my bicycle. Uh, That's your house. This is my home. <laughs> this is Brooke. And this is Ethan's. This is Brooke. This is my baby. What, you've named it? Yep. You have got so much stuff strapped on. It's amazing. It's a little bit more than you carry, but... Yeah, they were amazed that I managed to get everything in my belt. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. I found some deer antlers today. All oh, right. Yeah, those are actually kind of like rare and expensive, I think. Yeah. You got one each. They're a matching set. Nice. <laughs> yeah, put them on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> I think seriously, like I knew some people who made antler art. Yeah. And like, make, it's really expensive. Like lamps out of them and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they made and, all like, kinds of weird stuff. But they would go like collecting them and they were like rare, you know, specimens. When you find one, they were like, yes. <laughs> So yeah, we got this, I went to this awesome restaurant. Normally I go to the shop and just buy food and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna spend the same amount on this. Why I not? sit with these boys, so that was fun. Woo, woo! <laughs> we had a great meal. Yeah, good meal, good chat. Oh my God. Much better than eating Cheerios On the side outside. of the road somewhere. Yeah, exactly. All right, this is amazing burrito. I'm gonna eat more of it. It's, um. It's just huge. Look at it. Oh, American style. Yeah. That's what we call that. Oh, I'm so full in that. Tonight, take an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Sebcast. <laughs>